I go to the movie times. Yeah. And I saw a classic movie. And it was the movie that I never did see. And it, it was for the it was for the children's. It was for the children's movie. And uh what was it? Uh it was it's kinda weird because it's like a spin-off to another series. But it is called the 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 filet mignons. Yeah, and they're little yellow guys. And I think it's foreign film because I think they were speaking Italian or something. But uh that is not true. They just say nonsense. The minions. This is like a a spin off of the Despicable Eye series. Starring Long Nosed Man. But um yeah, and this is actually this is actually a prequel. It's not just a, a spinoff; it is a prequel. It is about the little yellow guys, primarily three of them: one named Kevin, and one named Bob, and one named the Stewart. Uh, this is a very old movie, so I will do the spoilers and whatnot that I remember. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> so it starts out a long time ago. And they swimmed out of the water, and then their whole deal was they want to find the the most diabolical creature. And there's something about a T-Rex and then a caveman. But then they finally get to normal people times. And there was some sort of war, I think it had to do with Napoleon or something. Then they got run out, and they hid in a cave. And then they got depressed because they weren't fulfilling their life's purpose of helping the most evil person. <laughs> or something. Ah. So, then three of them go on an adventure. And so, anyway, the movie, I mean, it was kind of funny. There was some things that, that uh, made me laugh. The thing that made me laugh the most was there's this British uh, reporter. And he's like, and some... Some bald child who is obviously suffering from jaundice... You know, because it's like he's yellow or whatever. But, and then, you know, other stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I thought it was funny. Like, there's a, at some point, they accidentally make a minion the king or something. So the queen isn't, the queen of England isn't the queen anymore. And so, uh, she's like in a bar hanging out with the normal people drinking and joking. I thought that was a funny scene. Anyway, so they're they're trying to get to this evil people's convention and they, they like take a ride with this evil family for a little bit. <laughs> you know, that was that was some humorous stuff there. But eventually they end up becoming the minions of this evil lady whose last name is Overkill or something. And she has a husband, and her husband is funny. That sort of thing. You know, there's a bunch of gags and whatnot. I was uh, surprised they were able to pull it off. Because, you know, in the Despicable Me's, I've seen... I don't know if I've actually seen an entire one, but I've seen clips of them and stuff like that. I know I've seen an entire one at some point. But... They're like a little side thing. You know, they're not the main story. So they don't have to carry the film. So I was like, how are they going to make an entire movie about things that can't really talk? <laughs> they end up saying English words every once in a while. I think it might just be a whole bunch of different languages mixed together. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it's, it's kind of weird. But... Yeah, so <laughs> it's just a bunch of ridiculousness <laughs> for the most part. I mean, it's, it was just kind of dumb. This one is less for adults, I think, than some other ones. Now, the theater, there was like one mom had brought a little kid, I believe may have been a daughter, it's hard to tell when they're so young. But it is age appropriate, you know. I wasn't upset, but the kid kept, you know, talking at the screen and 
you know, laughing real big at things. So I'm like, well, this movie is obviously made for this kid over here. It wasn't made for me. But, um, although there was, there was some references that only parents would get, but it was, I didn't think of, like, they referenced, like, Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles and a bunch of stuff. That was interesting. The soundtrack, because the movie's set in the 60s or something. So, the soundtrack was kind of cool, that, that they did different songs, you know, stuff like that. And every once in a while they do a song where the, the minions were singing and they're gibberish, but... But that was, that was before my time, so I didn't get any real member berries from it. It was kind of like, yeah, this is a, a song that I've heard at some point. <laughs> but yeah, so. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, it was alright. I mean, it was, it was funny. I'm sure if I was a kid, I would have liked it a lot more than that, that I did. I didn't think it was bad. It was just kind of silly, you know. Didn't seem to have any sort of moral. It was just goofy situation after goofy situation, and then they did a big they did a big fight at the end. Like one of the minions got himself blown up to a huge size, and so he was like a giant minion, like a Godzilla minion in in London, and he's fighting some lady with a rocket powered dress or something. Are they with that Killjoy lady? So, <laughs> so it was, you know, there was all those sorts of shenanigans, but I don't know. It was, it was just kind of okay in my opinion. Nothing spectacular, but it wasn't bad. They didn't do a bad job or nothing. It was just uh, for a younger crowd. I think is all there is to that. So yeah. Minions, I think they succeeded at what they're going for, so good job for them. Just wasn't re really for me.